Hey, Brett. Uh, we are getting ready to go into the hideout. Finally. Oh. <laughs> you must not hang around dangerous places. After I turn that off. Dad, go. Why do I always forget that? Ooh, pretty. At long last, Lily had reached her destination. She had faced a thousand dangers. And finally, she now stood in Edna's hiding place. There was just one catch. Edna no, Edna. was gone. <laughs> okay. An owl pipe, not a whistle. That was a bad sign. Edna never went anywhere without her owl whistle. Owl pipe. Owl whistle. Okay. Anything else? Well, let's look at the telescope. Oh, those guys. Is that a note? It is. Edna had left a message. Hopefully, she was all right. Lily, help! I'm being devoured alive by a giant tentacled creature. Ah, ah. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. I'm fine. I was just watching the bridge down by the river through my telescope. Dr. Marcel's minions seem to be planning something. I'll check it out up close. If I don't return, you have to get help. But don't worry. I'll be careful. Where are my kettle drum and my strobe flashlight? Dang. Well... See you soon. Toodaloo. Lily was relieved by the letter. But what if Dr. Marcel's men had caught her friend? Lily had to get to the bridge and look for Edna. Okay. She would find Garrett there, too. Yeah, because we've been down there. We already know that, don't we? Anything I need to pick up before we go? Doesn't look like it. All right. Back down to the bridge we go. Oh, are this they get damn piece of junk. Can you believe it? I can we believe it. Found the girl, and now the car won't start. Mm. Should I perhaps push this car? They caught Should the have kid. Been inspected months ago, but ever since the accident, the doctor has let everything go down here. <laughs> ever it's since a shame. the so, accident, it was true. The attendants had already found Edna. Why wasn't Garrett doing anything? Lily somehow had to get his attention. Can we throw something at him? I'd like to throw something at him. Oh. <laughs> it was hopeless. Lily would never catch Garrett's attention while the owl kept interfering. Okay, so... <laughs> oh. Stop that. Hey, okay. Oh, he looks sad, so I'll say sorry. Now he's angry. Okay. He's saying stop that. Alright, so you stop that. Okay. I'm afraid if I say never mind, I'll have to start all over it anyway. To chase this thing off. Just 
stop it already. Go away. Okay. Now he's happy. Oh, Lord. Oh, he doesn't like that one. You stop that. Oh, let's see. Never mind, don't worry about it. Alright, it's hilarious. What? Alright. Dad gamut. Oh, that Lou did it. was able to finally give Garrett the signal without being interrupted. I'm not sure what the rhyme or reason was to that, but okay. Now we can use the owl pipe, not not the whistle. The Lily owl was pipe. Able to finally give Garrett the signal without being interrupted. We'll do it. Garrett didn't seem to hear Lily's owl call at all. She tried once more, this time a little louder. Did you hear that too? Someone's out there. <laughs> oh, great. Just wait. We'll take care of it. Uh-oh. Busted. Well, who do we have here? But that's... Uh-oh. What the heck? The Phantom! The Phantom. <laughs> Honestly, but... <laughs> Lily thoughtfully watched the fleeing attendants for a long while. She was used to having bizarre phantoms appear behind her without warning. But the way Dr. <laughs> Marcel's minions had reacted surprised her. Usually, adults just ignored these creatures. Okay, I see keys. Where did Garrett go? That guy's about as useful as a screen door in a submarine. Open the door. Lily discovered that the key to the asylum was still lying behind oh, the shield. Hopefully, I thought... <laughs> the attendants weren't as careless when they were measuring out the psychotropic drugs. Okay. I thought it was the van key. I thought we were going to drive the van off. Okay. Oh. Oh, back, back this way. Oh, there's that. Lily. Oh, thank Wordless. goodness. I thought they caught you. Unfortunately, Edna wasn't as lucky. I saw how she was snatched and taken back to the institution. Oof. This gives us all the evidence we need. I will contact the task force leaders right away. Oh, it's good. best if you stay put until I come back with reinforcements. Yeah, I'll do that. However, it could take some time. And I can't guarantee that Edna will still be alive when we finally get the green light. If we're lucky, Dr. Marcel will torture her for a while before finally dissecting her or... Oh, my else gosh. to do with her. That would give us some time. She'll probably have to part with a few toes or fingers. Oh well, that's the way it goes. Eh, it's case, not you, right? You wait here. I'll come and pick you up from exactly this spot tomorrow, or the day after tomorrow, at the latest. Although the day after tomorrow is a holiday. But oh well, you'll see. <laughs> Just wait here. Uh huh. Lily would have really liked to follow Garrett's instructions, but well, there were excellent reasons for doing what she did instead. Yeah. There we go. Saving our friend. We're a saving our friend. <laughs> Some interesting trees there. The institution's post Victorian masonry work had a friendly air about it. <laughs> it was almost as if the architect had tried to spell out welcome with bricks and barbed wire. This unspoken invitation found its culmination in a nearly overgrown back door. Mm. And Lily intended to graciously accept it. That's nice. Isn't that nice? 
Okay, we can go back to the bridge. I tell you what, I've been burned so many times at this point that I'm worried I've forgotten something. I'm gonna just double check. I think we've we've done this. We've, we've done that. All right. Just the door. Let's get the key. Exhausting the limits of her powers of deduction, Lily tried opening the back door with the key. <laughs> but just as she approached the obstacle, she heard a familiar cackling. <laughs> Seriously? What a little scoundrel. The sneaky hamster had once again crossed Lily's plans. Mm. But despite this, Lily had no intentions of exacting a bloody revenge. Oh, we gotta try and get the owl to eat this. Is it a hamster or a gerbil? <laughs> Lily was glad. It was so rare that her friends got along so well with each other. <laughs> of course, this was also because she hardly had any friends. Mm -hmm. Much more important, however, was that the asylum key was no longer out of reach. It had fallen into one of the dark bushes. Okay. The key had fallen into the bush. It was very dark in there, but Lily wasn't afraid. Um. After all, it was just a bush. Oh. Yeah. Why did the child have to be so careless all the time? Uh. <laughs> well, good grief. A uh, chapter three, the asylum. So apparently you gotta fall down a big hole to get into. Oh, more keys. Oh, look, a boat. Boat. Row, row, row your raft. <laughs> oh, there we go. I think I'm going to look down here, too. Actually, I'm not. Actually, I'm getting out. And walking, because that would be faster. Really? Okay. Boo. Oh, God. <laughs> well, who do we have here? <laughs> A little girl. Just stay where you are, okay? <laughs> hey, stop. <laughs> <laughs> row! Row like the wind! <laughs> I bet it'll never catch you. Hey! Come back! <laughs> Give up! You can't get away! Especially not against the current. Well, we'll go back then. Wee! Hey, come back! Oh, is he gonna catch me? Oh, ha ha! Triumphantly, Lily climbed the ladder. She had finally found a way to get into the institution. Not so fast. Uh oh! <coughs> Kick him! Uh oh. What? What is this? <laughs> what the heck? Although she was briefly distracted by a floating energy smarty, <laughs> Lily was able to reach the ledge. Not a moment too soon, as the ladder crashed down behind her, dragging the phantom into the pit with it. No. Fortified by the energy smarty, <laughs> Lily was able to pull herself up on the ledge. Now her search for Edna 
could continue. All right. Okay, so we've got a little boiler room area. Punch cards. Oh, here's a punch card. All right. Which one do we want to try? Let's try this one. It was hopeless. Okay, this one. Ha ha! Ah! To the chimney. Uh, hello. Um. Hey. That's my fireplace. You shouldn't be here. Unless you want to bring presents or sweep the chimney. Not that the soot is bothering me. That was the old Mr. Frock. The new Mr. Frock is enjoying the dirt. Ah, oh, dirt. You see? Okay. That's Mr. Frock to you. And in case you're wondering what a piece of clothing like me is doing inside a fireplace, I'm acquiring soot. That's right. I used to be very fastidious about staying clean. But then this impertinent person came along and dared to spill something on me. The stains never came out. My clothing is black and greasy. My socks haven't been ironed. Ironed? And I even have fleas. Karen and Bertram. I'd introduce them to you, but they're sleeping right now. Oh, dear. Um, Tell me about I'm the chimney. I'm in a sooty chimney. So what? I used to be very fastidious about staying clean. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't care anymore. You're now speaking with the dark Mr. Frog, <laughs> who eats his gummy bears without a napkin. Um. Yes, I know that it's dirty here. So what? I love the cobwebs, the dust. And that rotting substance in the corner. I just finished combing it. I oh, gross. Her, even if you put a feather duster right in my hand. You don't have a feather duster. <laughs> you? Oh, stop. I don't want to know. Okay. Oh, have you seen uh, Edna? Somehow you remind me of a patient we used to have here. She was a little taller than you. Mm -hmm. And I think I remember two <laughs> red horns and a tail. Oh, dear. What about Dr. You Marcel? You don't need to mumble like that. Ever since Dr. Marcel's accident, we can make as much noise here as we want. He's no longer interested in what's going on inside the asylum. All of his attention is focused on finding Edna. Huh. Okay. What's this? Maintenance room. Bound to find a crowbar there. <laughs> I almost always need a crowbar. Oh. I thought that was a punch card. I bet it'll work like a punch card. The idea was good, but Lily's arms were too short. Okay. I give that to that guy when I can get it. What's up on the roof? <laughs> um, Bee man. Uh -huh. It was hopeless. The man in the bee costume couldn't hear Lily from there. Okay. Moths fluttered around the dim light of the lamp. They were apparently searching for food. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to try and use this cheese as a punch card. <laughs> All right. Oh, that gets me. Oh, I can't get in though cuz Oh, okay, cool. Lily had inadvertently broken off the leg of the chair. It was as pointy as a knife. Hopefully the funny little rabbit hadn't seen anything. Oh. But Lily, what are you doing there? Don't you remember? You must not use sharp objects. Just don't touch it, okay? See you around. Oh, okay, so... We're going to need to use a sharp object soon, I'd say. Grab the feather duster. Uh, 
Oh, a can, a can opener. Okay. Refrigerator. Ooh. Tomatoes. Broccoli. Blueberries. I thought those were grapes. Bananas. Pizza flyer. Lots to take in here. Telephone. Welcome to Spamy's Pizza Service. My name is Pokey. Can I take your order? Um... The one on the asylum. Is that right? I assume that we just shove it under the gate as usual. <laughs> what toppings? Uh... Hello? Hello? Can I take your order? Uh... One with nothing coming up. <laughs> it done. It'll be about 30 to 45 minutes. Have a nice day. Uh, okay. Credit card. What if we use the credit card to uh, to break into the break into like a locked room? Oh, well, there's pizza. Nice. And there's a Harvey. Huh? <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Surprised to see me again? Not surprised, yes, but not kicking. You won't escape me again. And now hold still until I've decided what to do with you. Lily considered this option, <laughs> but instead did the following. Let's see. Oh, see, I need to stab him, I bet. I'll just, uh... Strange. The silly rabbit didn't even react to Lily's ball of wool. Okay. You must not contradict the doll. Oh, okay. You must not lie. Oh, let's see. That's let's good. Keep nice and still. I want to stab him with this. You must not use sharp objects. Hmm. Hmm. You must not play with fire. That's good. Well? The Phantom didn't look like he was open for negotiations. Keep nice and still. I don't want to keep nice and still. I want to move around. I'm not allowed to. You must not use sharp objects. You must not use sharp objects. Lily had inadvertently... It was his point. The Phantom didn't let Lily out of his sight. She didn't have a chance to try anything. Hmm. Am I just stuck here? Strange. The silly rabbit... Oh. He had a pull string. <laughs> All right. Oh, my. Lily didn't want to appear greedy. One feather would be enough, just like a Christmas dinner at the convent. Oh, my. <laughs> What's going on, brave warrioress? Too weak? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> What's go to? <laughs> well, you're very brave to come so close to me. 
Can't you see my teeth, my spikes, and my sharp claws? Didn't anyone ever tell you to stay away from sharp objects? That would be a tragic error. Okay. I guess I need to move the tail. Wonder if I could tickle it. <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Did that let me past it? <gasps> What's <two? laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh, there we go. Well, <laughs> hmm. Wait, 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 wait. Is there something else I could do? I thought I saw something else. Hang on. Oh, there's different places to tickle on his tail. And then... Oh, the iron gate itself. Oh. <laughs> That's right. Oh. oh. I'll get you next time. Okay. Um... <laughs> Not a chance. <laughs> Lily had probably broken it for good. Mm hmm. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh. Yeah, you got that straight. You did. Don't just stand there. Oh, but I can't. I can't touch sharp objects. You're just gonna have to deal with it, I guess, for the rest of your days. You just have to stay there with that in your hand. Sorry. Uh, uh, thanks. That was close. I. Uh oh. This demon had also made a mistake. It seemed that in certain situations, it really was necessary to handle sharp objects. Indeed. Really return victoriously to reality. <laughs> I thought I was going to have to move his tail and get down in that valley. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at the new rabbit with a knife through his head. <laughs> Woohoo. There, now I can, well, I gotta tell it that it's okay to use sharp objects, and then, here you go, Phantom. Uh-oh. Oh, no, right in the eye. Damn you, you disobedient brat. Damn! Lily fought for air. The phantom's grip was tight around her throat. Not anymore. Disobedient, it had said. Oh. Well, now what? Oh, storm. Is there something else I need to do here? Oh, there's a coffee cup there. <laughs> I 
Okay. Oh, hub. Well, John G, I think uh, I think we're going to uh, finish this up. Not finish this up, but uh, finish looking through the asylum next time. I may have to wait a little while because it looks like there's a storm kicking up. <laughs> anyway, bye, Brad.